ご紹介をありがとうございました。今日はマハラオープンフォーラムで再びハピをする機会を与えていただきありがとうございます。コンフェレンスのご成功と皆様のポートフォリオワークのインスピレーションとなることを祈っています。それでは、マハラ17のフォート、まもなくリリスをサリル1710の機能を紹介します。Although we are going to talk about マハラ17 Point 10 primarily today, I'd also like to give a quick overview of what happened since the beginning of 2017, since we only last saw each other in September last year. So in January, January、um, we introduced a new logo. We refreshed the Mahara logo, updated it, and modernized it. Um, we did keep the essentials, but we wanted to give it a new coat of paint, and so we have a new,、um, very slim,、uh, stylized logo and also slightly new colors that you can see everywhere around the Mahara website and also in the new themes that we created. And then up to April 2017, we worked. Quite hard on a number of new features, which I'll very briefly show you now. We have a new desktop navigation.、Um, that means that now the navigation looks very much like on a mobile device. So you have the navigation in the top right corner of your Mahara instance, and you have three navigation menus altogether. You have the user menu. In which you can reach all settings and、um, profile information and your inbox. If you are an administrator, you also have the administration menu so that you can reach all things site administration and institution administration. And then every user has the main menu in which you can find the content portfolio and groups. This will hopefully unify the navigation across any of the devices that you use and make it easier for you to find items because they are always in the same place. A bigger new feature in Mahara 17.10 was the combination of pages and collections. Prior to April, you always only saw all your pages or all your collections, but you never really saw Uh, which pages were in a collection when you were on the pages overview screen. So now everything is together. And that also has a number of additional advantages. Because besides showing pages and collections together, we can now also、um, show access permissions more easily. So we introduced new icons that make it very easy for you to click on them and then see who already has access to a portfolio and if, somebody or if a portfolio has not yet been shared. You can also see how many pages are in a collection by looking at the pages icon. And then when you click it, you see the titles of the pages and can go to them directly as well. And a third icon allows you to get,、um, access the edit and delete options for pages and collections very quickly. And you can also see when a page was created and updated. That information, so the creation and update date, had not been shown anywhere in Mahara before when you looked at your pages or collections. And so this is nice additional information, e quickly accessible for you. Another big new feature in Mahara 1704 was the, in,、um, the implementation of LTI. So now we can use the Learning Tools Interoperability Standard in Mahara、um, for connecting learning management systems to Mahara. In the past, you could only easily connect Moodle to Mahara in order to jump from one to the other, and that was via MNET. But now you can use LTI. So it does not matter whether you have Blackboard, 
Canvas, Moodle, or another learning management system that supports the LTI standard. You can use it to authenticate your students and also your teachers into Mahara. We are planning on extending this functionality also to the assignment submission um, feature that we have available for Moodle, um, meaning that you would be able to submit a portfolio in your learning management system and then have that uh, and then portfolio, your Mahara portfolio, sorry, in your learning management system. And again, no matter what the um, LMS is. Um, we are not quite there yet and are looking for people interested in funding that feature. Um, but if you want to use the single sign-on capabilities, then you can already do so. The nice side effect of having single sign-on via LTI is that you can now set up multiple institutions on Mahara and connect that to one Moodle, which was not possible in the past. These were just a few of the bigger features in Mahara 1704 um, that some of you might have already explored. What I'd like to focus on now, of course, is what is coming up in Mahara 1710. So what is still a little bit behind the cloud, um, but what can we already start to see? Because our release date is not so far off anymore. So we are thinking of releasing Mahara 1710 in the third or latest fourth week of October. So there are only a few weeks left for us to work on it. And so what is the biggest um, feature in Mahara 17.10? Well, it is enhanced reporting. Um, the reporting is a project of Dublin City University and the University of Sussex in um, Ireland and in the United Kingdom, respectively. And the project is called AIM, Advanced Analytics in Mahara. And we as Catalyst are the um, development partners for it. And so what this project allows you to do is have more reporting capabilities in Mahara in order to have um, learning analytics displayed and have these available on a more granular level in Mahara than we currently have. So what we do as part of that project is combine all the statistics, so site and institution statistics, will be available via the reporting section in the administration area. And we have a number of additional reports. Because that feature is still in active development, we do not yet have the Japanese language strengths. That's why the screen is still very much um, English rather than Japanese. But um, once everything has been merged into Mahara, of course, it will also be available in Japanese as usual. The reporting functionality, um, because it is very granular, requires a lot of um, processing power in Mahara. And that's why the new reports will be available via Elasticsearch. Um, Elasticsearch is a full text search tool that we already have um, built into Mahara, or the setup of it is built into Mahara. And so we are repurposing it in order to give you better reporting possibilities without um, making Mahara slower, uh, which is very important um, so that everybody still has quick access. And of course, um, because the advanced reporting is based on Elasticsearch. We are also upgrading Elasticsearch to a modern version. So we are going to Elasticsearch 5 and have um, that available as part of Mahara 1710 as well. That is by far the biggest feature in Mahara 1710. And um, the learning analytics feature will allow you to even look at one student's page activity. Um, see how many artifacts a particular student has. 
that allows you to look at collaboration activity with um, how many comments are on a page or also how many annotations in smart evidence frameworks are available. And this is just the beginning. So we will have five extra reports available, but that can be expanded in the future because we will have the framework there of how to get access to the reporting and we can put more report types into Mahara. There are some more features in Mahara 1710 though. Um, here is one that might look quite small, but is actually uh, quite important for a lot of people. Uh, namely that you can now search for your messages from other people in your inbox and also in your outbox, making it easier to find them, especially if people contact you quite a lot um, via Mahara. Then also to keep up with more mobile features, um, you can now upload a second logo, allowing you to have a logo for your desktop site and a logo for your site when it is displayed on a small screen, like a um, smartphone, making it really much nicer to view that logo rather than making it really, really tiny, only to preserve the dimensions. We also consolidated the page editing screens thanks to a contribution um, from a community member. And that means that you now have all the page settings on one screen. So title and description, layout and skins is now all on one page. Then you have the editing screen as you know it. And the share screen is now also part of the page editing process so that you still see the title of the page even when you're on the share page and you can immediately set up a URL or also share the page with others. So no more back and forth between different screens not knowing whether you're still on the editing screen or not. And Last but not least, um, another one of the really nice features making it into Mahara 1710 is this one here from AOT. Um, namely that you can now see which of your students have not yet submitted a portfolio into a group. If you use the group submission feature in Mahara, allowing your students to submit a portfolio for assessment purposes um, into a group, then up to now you could only see which students have already submitted their portfolio. But if you had a large group of students or asked them to submit more than one portfolio, it wasn't quite so easy to see that. And now that will be possible because you will see which students still need to put something into the group in order to be assessed. So these are just some of the new features of Mahara. And of course, we have a lot of bug fixes as well um, that are going into the release. And so right now we are looking at um, having the release candidate available by the end of September or latest the beginning of October, so that we then still have about three weeks until the release of Mahara 1710. And then, of course, we look forward to hearing your feedback of what you think of it and um, what you would like to see in the future or how we can enhance um, some features that you have seen in there. So we invite you to look at the release candidate, um, install it on the testing site, and give it a go so that we can still make some changes uh, for the release then in October. Thank you. Mm -hmm.